I cleared my second mates exam in the very first attempt. Have a look. And if you are looking to do the same, then watch this video. I'll be sharing my experience and some very important tips and tricks to clear this exam in the very first attempt. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, this is Jaswinder Singh. Welcome back to my channel. I literally got tons of DMs on my Instagram to make a video regarding this topic. So here is it guys. So the first question is, what is the eligibility criteria to appear for this exam? Can you do it after completing your DNS or BSc? Or can you do it after completing your required C time? The answer is no. So after completing your DNS or BSc course from your college, you need to go on board and complete your required C time. And after completing your required C time, which is 12 months for the BSc candidates and 18 months for DNS. And after completing that, you need to come back and do some courses. There are a total of seven courses that you need to do before appearing for the second mates exam. So I list those courses here. These are AFF, MFA, PSCRB, Radar, ARPA, PECDIS, and the seventh one, which is the most important one, is the GMDSS course. So GMDSS course is basically an exam. So you need to clear that exam. And after clearing that, you know, you will get a license called the GOC, which is called the general operators license. So the next step is to apply for assessment, which is basically a process in which all your documents will be verified by the MMD. And there is an assessment checklist for each MMD. I'll drop a link of that checklist in the description box. So you have to arrange all your documents uh, as per the checklist and you need to attach them in a file and send them to the MMD. So once your documents are approved, you are ready to go and apply for your exam. So you must be wondering what is the overall structure of the second mates exam. So there are these three things. First of all, you have the signaling exam. Then you have six written exams. And then finally, you have three orals. So in signaling exam, the examiner will be flashing some random alphanumeric uh, Morse codes and you need to identify them and write down on a piece of paper. So this is a hundred marks exam and you need to score at least 70 out of 100 to pass this exam. So in the written exams, there are six papers. I'll show you now. This is the sample format of the six papers that you can find on the DG website. And I'll link this format also in the description box. First one is terrestrial and coastal navigation. Second one is bridge equipment and watch keeping. Third is cargo handling and storage. Fourth is celestial navigation. Fifth one is meteorology. And the last one is ship construction, stability, ship safety and environment protection. And then finally you have the three orals also known as the three functions. So the function one is navigation, function two is cargo handling and storage and function three is controlling the operation of the ship and care of persons on board. So now the third question, what is the difficulty level of these exams and how should I prepare for it? So the first one is the signaling exam, which is a pretty easy exam and you can prepare for it by watching YouTube videos. There are many YouTube videos regarding the MMD signaling exam and you can practice through those videos. Well, I believe that there is no need to go for an online or an offline class to prepare for this exam. So the practice videos that are available on YouTube are more than enough to clear this exam. So next up we have the written. So just like any other written exam, you need to practice a lot for clearing this exam. So you need to practice the numericals, the diagrams. And the main thing is you need to go through the last 10 years question papers and you need to see that which kind of questions were asked during the past 10 years. And you can find those question papers uh, easily on the Marinepedia app and you can prepare through that. And although this looks tough, but you can easily clear the six written exams in the very first attempt. And finally, we have the three orals or the three functions, which I believe is the toughest exam among all because all the three functions are conducted on the very same day. So now I will share the five important tips and tricks to clear your exam in the first attempt. Tip number one, start with the most difficult part first. I've always believed in smart work over hard work. Hard work over hard work. So I analyzed all the three functions and I realized that the function one is the toughest of all followed by function three. And finally, function two is comparatively easier to clear. And thus I decided to divide my time accordingly. So I started preparing with function one and the two most important subjects in function one are Colrex and Celestial Navigation. You just cannot afford to make any mistake in these two subjects if you want to clear the function one. Many juniors have asked me about how should we go about preparing for our work. So my advice to you guys will be 
for why you need to learn rule number 1 to 19 by heart so you can do so by any method that you like you may speak it out loud you may write it down whichever method suits you but make sure that you learn these rules by heart secondly for identification of lights make use of the ROA cards pack and make sure you identify all the lights and shapes present in the pack of cards so coming on to function 3 which is more of a technical function so in this function uh, the most important subjects are solus Bapal and LSA code so if you prepare these three subjects very well there are good chances of you clearing this function so let's move on to our tip number two which is the most important tip group discussions so in the current scenario there are two modes in which you can give your oral examination the mode number one is the online mode in which you can give your oral exams by sitting at your home through your pc and in mode number two which is the offline mode in that mode obviously this is the traditional mode in which you need to go to the mmd and give your oral exams to the surveyors so if you're going for the offline mode then make sure you have a few friends with you so that you can do group discussions with them and even if you are doing it in the online mode then also it's pretty much the same you need to just make a whatsapp group or do it on zoom meetings but make sure you are doing those group discussions now you must be wondering what actually you need to discuss so each mmd has its own whatsapp group which is made by the candidates and for the candidates appearing for the exam so every time any examination takes place the candidates puts down his questions in the whatsapp group so what you need to do is pick up that question set and discuss it with your friends so now i'll tell you how i made the best use of this group discussion to prepare for my function two so i did three shifts during my cadetship first one was a gas carrier second one was an oil cam carrier and the third one was the vlcc so I was quite confident in tankers and gas carriers. So I focused more on the ships that I did not do like the bulk carrier and the container ships. So since we had a group of 11 candidates who were preparing for the same exam and we were staying together in a PG in Kandla. So we helped each other in understanding the practical parts of the subject. So for example, somebody who was from a container background, he came forward and taught the whole group about the securing and lashing arrangement. And somebody who was from a tanker background he told the whole group about the tanker and other stuff so that's how group discussion helped all of us in preparing function two in the minimum period of time tip number three is the importance of revision a typical average guy needs at least two months of preparation time for this exam so you will forget many things that you had studied a month before so you need to brush them up on a regular basis trust me guys this is very normal and you may feel that you have forgotten everything that you studied a month ago but all you need is a revision of few hours and that's it tip number four be confident and be precise so you must have heard about first impression is the last impression well this actually stands true in this case so the way you answer your first question it tells the surveyor that how confident you are so before your oral try to relax yourself and keep yourself hydrated so that your thoughts and your ideas they flow into your mind in a systematic order secondly try to be precise in your answers don't beat around the bush so if you don't know any question just tell them that you have studied this before but you are just unable to recall it right now instead of giving them irrelevant answers because that would invite more cross questioning and you will end up getting yourself into more trouble tip number five take enough rest a day before your examination and attempt all three functions that's right guys take at least six hours of sound sleep a day before your examination because this sleep will help you on the next day and you will not know the importance of this sleep until you get headaches on the day of your examination which nobody wants right so take at least six hours of rest and secondly i've seen many people preparing for this exam for like two months but a day before their examination I don't know what happens they just make their mind that they won't attempt function one tomorrow or they will not attempt function three tomorrow but don't do this guys just go and try your luck whatever you have studied if you are lucky maybe you will get all three functions so don't surrender yourself to the examiner even before commencing your exam so just try to stay confident and be relaxed and everything will be fine so from our group of 11 friends we were four friends that had the examination on the very same day so on reaching mmd kandla we were instructed to take our admit card EXN45 and wait inside the waiting area there we noticed that there were maybe 10 or 12 more candidates waiting there so the oral exams are conducted by two examiners 
the first one is the external examiner and the second one is the internal examiner so in the present scenario the external exam is conducted online through a laptop under the invigilation of the internal examiner and uh, once the external examiner takes his exam he then forwards the result to the internal examiner and then the internal examiner will ask you some questions and he will then finalize your result and write it down on the EXN sheet. So now the first two candidates that were called for the examination were my batchmates only. One went inside the room and the other one waited outside. After about 45 minutes of waiting, the internal examiner who is the principal of the MMD, he came to the waiting room with a list of names of all candidates and he asked us who is from TMI here? Anybody from Talani Maritime Institute? So me and my friend, he, we identified ourselves to the principal. This gave us an indication that the external examiner is a teaching faculty of Talani Maritime Institute only. After a few minutes, we saw a friend who was waiting outside the main examination hall, returning back to the waiting area. So we asked him what happened. So he told us that he was informed that the orals of Tolani candidates will be conducted at the last by some other examiner. So we three got a little disheartened by listening to this news. Uh, but we still had one of our friends who was giving oral inside the main examination hall. So when our friend returned from the examination hall, he confirmed that the external examiner was a teaching faculty, a captain from TMI only. And he said that he made a, a silly mistake in one of the functions. And but he was sure that he would get at least two functions. Now we were just three friends waiting and watching other candidates go inside one by one. But all of a sudden, my name was called out. So now I was waiting outside the main examination hall. And I was thinking in my mind that maybe there is a change of examiners because it was almost lunchtime. As I entered the examination hall and I sat on the chair in front of the laptop to give my exam, I was literally rejoiced to see the captain from my college after a very long time. But this joy did not last it for a long time. The internal examiner asked my name and he confirmed my college and then he told me to go and wait in the waiting room. At this point of time, I felt very disheartened and unlucky. So finally, our exam was conducted by some other external examiner and fortunately, it went quite well. But Still, we did not knew the final results. And then later on in the evening, the internal examiner commenced his examination and started finalizing the results. So my friend who went to a very own captain of our college, uh, he passed in two functions, but my other two friends came back with the full Monty. That is the PPP they got passed in all three functions. And one of them even had tears of joy in his eyes because everybody works really hard for this day only. Now it was my turn to go inside and I was the last candidate left at the entire MMD. I was very optimistic and I gave all the answers with full confidence. And finally when I saw him writing my result with the blue pen, I realized that this was it. Lesson to learn from this guys, hard work combined with luck will give you success for sure. So I want to end this video by showing you something very special. So this is the second mate COC that you guys are actually working hard for. So I hope this gives you a sense of motivation and belief to go and get yours. And if you like the whole video, then do hit the like, share and subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.